Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we've been having a really great day. The sun is shining outside. The girls are actually in the backyard right now playing. And it's just these days where the sun is shining and it's nice for them to go out and play. I'm so thankful for. Just with doing social distancing, we just have been so enjoying our backyard. To get out of the inside of the house at least and just to, you know, eat dinner back there. And right now they have their rubber boots on and they're just playing in the yard with buckets and shovels. I've been doing some stuff around the house. I got on my oil page this morning and shared the oil of the day. And I'm about to start tackling a few projects around the house, including some decorating I'm excited about doing. I'm actually gonna set you guys up here on the counter and tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. I honestly don't think that I have been more excited about a partnership than this one because growing up, my parents really instilled in me the value of education and just learning new things. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare and I didn't even know, to be honest, what they were. I had heard the name before, but didn't know what they were until I checked out their website. And it is literally one of the coolest things ever. Particularly while all of us are at home and don't have as much going on in our daily lives as we normally have. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. I mean, anything you can think of, like crafts, photography, web design, music, marketing, fine art, and even things that we all deal with, like productivity. So even if you're a beginner of a skill or maybe a master that's looking to learn something more about your skill, this is definitely a good fit for you. Skillshare classes combine both video and a class project. As a member, you get access to thousands of classes. And one thing I really love about it is you can also see feedback on classes from millions of other people using Skillshare. Most classes are around 60 minutes and they're broken down into sections so it's really easy to squeeze it into your schedule if you're really busy or you can sit through an entire class in an hour. With everything going on in the world today I feel that we are often dealing with anxiety and just restlessness. And learning something new is a great way to make you feel calm. There are a lot of art classes that would be an excellent creative outlet during this time. Since we all have a lot of downtime on our hands now is the time that you can pick up on a skill that you've always wanted to do. I am currently taking a class on productivity by Greg McEwen. It is so good. So many great tips. Knowing that I'm learning from a master of the skill that I want to achieve is such a great feeling. As you can see, there are discussions and then projects and resources. So you can see what everyone's talking about that's taken the class. You can also save classes in categories so you remember where they are. Besides fine arts, there's a lot of lifestyle classes you can take as well, like Spanish for beginners and so many culinary classes. Skillshare is $10 a month with an annual subscription. My first 1,000 subscribers to hit the link in the description box will get two months free trial of a premium membership to explore. I love that we have these back doors so I can kind of be doing something inside and then still be checking on them out here. But one little update I do have is that we have started doing some serious potty training with Hazley. So she's out here right now in like a really long shirt. <laughs> And I've been trying to keep an eye and take her, you know, back and forth to go to the bathroom and all of that. But I want to work on a little project in Hazley's room. And since I won't be able to see them very well, I'm going to have them come in, do have a little bit of screen time, watch something so that I can get the project done in Hazley's room so that she can take a nap. Okay, you guys all set to chill and watch a movie for a little while? So I've been putting this plastic tablecloth under her, say Hazley. Were you playing with markers outside? Were you? Tell them what. Tell them what you're watching. Okay. <laughs> Even though it's not nothing near Christmas, I think I'm probably gonna have to do a little cleaning in here before I get started doing this. So first of all, it's kind of bright. Let me see if I can adjust my camera here. I put up some like sheer, they're like a little heavier than sheer curtains. They're from Amazon and they have this really pretty um, like texture to them. First of all, I need to take the stickers off of here. I don't know if it's just my kids, but stickers get on so much stuff and I feel like I spend half my life peeling stickers off of things sometimes, but 
they're kids. Anyways, so my idea or my vision is to do like gray and black and probably purple in here for her to kind of make it a little bit more girly. But I think doing the black hearts on this wall will look really, really cute. I had thought about doing a canopy, like a maybe a purple canopy over this side. But now that the sheer curtains are there, I feel like that is kind of... I don't know, I think it would be a lot of stuff hanging over here with the curtains and the canopy. So, and the other thing too I want to do, <laughs> their little like spigot thing needs to be put back on there. But I'm kind of thinking I want to do some sort of like shelving on the wall above their little kitchen. I don't know, I've got a lot of ideas, but for today, I wanna put these decals up and just make it look really cute. I think this is a great idea for something that's not like super permanent. Do you like it? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. What are they? Um, um, hearts. Yes. What do you think, Everly? Yeah. yeah. Is it cute? Yeah. Mommy's gonna do something behind you and Kai's bed, like something special on one of your walls too. They went out there because Corey's home and he's making them something to eat. But I'm so happy with how this turned out. I think it's so cute and it just brought like a little bit more warmth to this room. And like I said, I'm kind of working with ideas of what I want to do with like her bed. And I think I may put a sign over here. But just a cute toddler room for now. And these are little simple things that I can eventually change out really easily. On the days that I'm vlogging the last little while, Corey ends up coming home early from work, but 
he did make taco salad for himself i just ate a taco bowl so we had like a super early early dinner um so we'll probably end up making snacks a little later on just because we had such an early dinner but he's sitting on the back porch so i just made myself a cup of coffee and i'm gonna go sit back there i think the girls are playing All right, so this stuff um, I just got from Amazon, and this is actually like a touch light, and it charges. So I charge this up, and then this is a nail polish shelf, but I'm gonna use it for something else. It came, and it was really easy to put together. So I just put these screws into the shelf, and um, the little end pieces just sat on it. And up in here, I've been wanting to organize my like essential oils. I have them all in here right now, but I just think it would be a little nicer to have them like organized in a row where I can see them. But I'd like to put my daily supplements in here and have my oils out of here. I measured everything to make sure that this would fit in here and yes, it fits perfectly. It's gonna be so nice. And then these little things came with the light to stick that up in here. So I think I just clipped them on and then clip it in so like you can take it out to charge it. And then this turns it on. Ah, so perfect. Uh, I'm just so happy with that every time I walk past him I'm like it looks so cute can't wait to add some more to it all um, but this is the other girls room and um, I have been wanting to do a floral wall in here like doing some florals I don't know if I will go the whole wall or just kind of do it behind where the little hoop canopy is but my mom the last time she was here she brought me all of this floral stuff and I think I'm probably going to put like that pillow and some of their other stuff over in Hazley's room since it's going to be a little more like little girl toddler style and then I want to do more like girl style in here so I think I want to get maybe some floral pillows they have this quilt um, it's kind of a shabby chic quilt it's got even some little tears in it in places and stuff so I think I want to change the direction of this room to look a little bit more big girl or not big girl but just not baby toddler um, so the girls are so thrilled with this they walked in here and saw all this floral stuff and were like mom that looks so cute so I'm gonna work at this. I don't really know. I don't have a true direction. I'm just gonna work at putting it up and you guys can watch while I make progress. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la 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 la. My God, I think I might be in love. Get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city. You never feel alone as long as you're with me. Get rid of
so obviously this will look a lot better in the daytime but I'm really happy with it and I think once stores open up again I probably will go to Hobby Lobby and get some more flowers just to like make that top part a little bit thicker but it's so cute the girls came in and saw it and thought it was really cute and then I kind of simplified what they had on their bed but I'm gonna get like new pillows for them and some new throw pillows and um, just kind of make it look a little bit more florally and I love how this part turned out right here I just took a rope and put it around the outside because I was like how do I attach flowers to the top of this <laughs> um, so I just attached them to that rope that's sitting around the outside of the hoop everything else I hooked up with command strips up there so I'll be able to easily take it all down I think this is gonna be especially great for the summer and summertime and just being bright and cheery tell me what you think Good. It's good. What do you think, Kylia? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Should I get some new pillows that have light flowers and stuff on it for your bed? I am going to make a snack that we have been liking lately and it always reminds me of my grandparents house every time I make it but I'm going to make some popcorn on the stove top. First thing I do is turn the burner on and then I just drizzle in some olive oil. You want it to kind of cover a good part of the bottom. You could do that with coconut oil too. And then I have to figure out a solution for my spices and stuff. I have a pull out spice rack that I've been looking at so stay tuned for that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet but I get some popcorn kernels and to be quite honest these are not the best the best are either the multicolored or the I think they call them petite kernels um, but these were just ones I had grabbed whenever I had stocked up a couple weeks ago so you just shake it into the bottom mostly covering the bottom and I like to kind of like wiggle it around to make sure it's all covered and cover it up and then you will hear it start popping. So I'll check back in a second whenever it starts popping. So as you can see, it's starting to pop and it does it pretty fast. So you want to keep an eye on it and I like to kind of move it around a little bit while it's popping because as soon as it's done popping, you want to dump it out or it'll burn. After you dump it in like this, um, I like to put whatever seasoning, I like to put whatever seasoning or flavoring I'm going to put on it. So you could just do salt. Something else that also helps the flavoring to stick is if you spray it with just a little bit of spray. I'm using coconut oil spray. And what I'm going to do is actually shake in a little trivia. You could do sugar and um, some salt. And it will be kind of like a kettle corn flavor, like a sweet and salty popcorn. Just like that. And mix it and it's that easy to make popcorn on the stove I lose my breath whenever I see you you stole my heart what is it that you Hey guys, so it's actually a good bit later and the girls are all tucked into bed sleeping and I'm in my comfies and I got things pretty cleaned up out there, which will be a great start for tomorrow. But I've been working on some editing and also taking part of a Skillshare class 
seriously you will not regret even just the trial of two months it is the coolest thing and i think that you will really really enjoy it no matter what your interests are so don't forget to check that out in the description box and thanks so much for watching if you're new here i'd love it if you subscribed and joined my channel and i will see you guys in my next video you said my world I just wanna love you